Hello, my name is Maher Lewis and today I'm going to be showing you um, how to bring in a surface from Google Earth and an image and at the same time how to set a surface style um, that would be uh, beneficial for exaggerating the elevation of the surface. So uh, let's start out by opening up AutoCAD 2009, I mean AutoCAD Civil 3D 2009. And uh, here you can see I, uh, I have a surface from Google Earth and I have an image which, uh, which I, I saved as from Google Earth. Um, it's colorful so um, it's not the same as what Google Earth um, provides Civil 3D when you do the pull down menu import uh, import Google Earth image and surface okay uh, whenever you do this command it'll bring the surface in but the image is usually black and white so on top of that what I did was I brought in the uh, the uh, color I did a save as in Google Earth and I can show you how to do the save as Google Earth right now uh, so let's open up Google Earth and uh, here you can do a save as save image okay and I saved this on my desktop and then put it in to Civil 3D okay um, in any case um, uh, it's very lightly shown here but there's there's some contours and uh, I can I can change the colors of the contours uh, simply just by changing the uh, style of the surface and um, as you uh, as you can see the surface is relatively severe from from this road uh, towards this what looks like a uh, creek and I, I named this uh, this drawing as the Guadalupe River in San Jose so that you could see that the uh, the creek is there. Um, one issue that I have, which isn't an issue, I think Google Earth is a great, is a great, 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 great tool, a great product. Um, but one issue that I wanted to bring up is the the surface information from Google Earth. Uh, it's very, very, very good, except when it comes to rivers and creeks and uh, features like that. Um, there can be a difference between what's provided by an aerial topography, uh, the elevation that that's being that is uh, represented in an aerial topography uh, versus this. So uh, you have to be careful when you use Google Earth because it may not be representing the elevation, especially in a river, um, accurately. Okay. So let's go back to Google Earth. Now Google Earth, um, you can see the, the surface of the, uh, of the area. And I'm looking at this area here. And I don't know if you could tell, but this area here is higher than that area there. And there's a, a monster river right there that goes and snakes its way through. Um, there's downtown San Jose. Okay. And here you can do the same thing you wanted to take a look at this um, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, the render material for the surface is is set properly and here it's not you can see the render material is uh, it says by layer and what you want to do is you want to create a render material that will more represent this colorful uh, you know this colorful image here so what you do is you go to surface Utilities and drape image. Okay, uh, this is the image that I brought in called area. This is the surface, which is the surface here, brought in, and this is the render material which they will uh, create. Okay, so that I've done that. Now I can select this, and it automatically selected it. Google Earth surface area render material. Okay, so when I look at this and in the object viewer be able to see what it looks like. Uh, is it upside down? Oh, there it is. 
Now you 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 can't tell, but this surface here, this area here, elevation is higher than that one. But how can you tell? I mean, how can you make it so you can see it? Well, I'm going to exaggerate the surface by doing a a, a, a simple uh, thing here. Uh, if you go to contours and triangles, a say copy current selection and you change this to and you want to um, make it let's say three times you know the exaggeration okay so you do that rename it rename the copy <coughs> expand all of the summary and then here it says triangle mode right and if you go to this pull down tri triangle display mode you go to the exaggeration elevation uh, you change the uh, use surface elevation to uh, exaggerate elevation and then you change that to three apply alright apply say okay so now when you look at this in the object viewer now it should be more obvious okay maybe that's not enough maybe you want to go five all right. So I've already done this ahead of time. Okay. See. So now you can see the exaggeration of the surface. Maybe that's not enough. Maybe you want it to go to 10. 10. Now this one's not going to look pretty. I can tell you right now. <laughs> we'll do it just for fun. 10. Say okay. So the exaggeration is now 10, and um, you can definitely now tell that uh, this area here is much higher than that area there, just from this exaggeration. Okay. Anyway, so that concludes my demonstration of how to uh, bring in the surface from Google Earth and an image, and how to. Um, have the image that you bring in drape over the surface and then exaggerate the surface so that you can better understand the difference in elevation. Thank you.